and who can. So how many cans would you produce a day then? A day up to five million cans. Five million, five million cans. cans. One point one billion cans a year. So I can't even contemplate what that looks yeah. like. It's just cans everywhere. Yeah. The speed of it though. You can't even see them. It's bu -bu 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 if you look at it, Jimmy, you can see all the lines together. That's millions of cans a day. That's mind-boggling, isn't it? Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! They fill a million and a half cans with beans here every day. Heinz don't add any artificial preservatives to keep their beans fresh. So how on earth do they keep them safe inside the can for more than a year? This assignment is going to demand some canny espionage. Will Miss Microbiology, Julie Booth, spill the beans? Some of these products have 16 months, 18 months shelf life. And in order to achieve that shelf life, we need to make sure that there is nothing which could cause the food to spoil. So you superheat it then so to, we to kill all the So we superheat it in a pressure brownies. cooker. We're actually getting to temperatures in excess of 120 degrees inside the can. To make the cans safe, they put them inside this machine, a super steam steriliser. In here, the beans are cooked inside their sealed can. We have three steam cook shells followed by two cooling shells. The high temperature kills bacteria stone dead. The food stays safe until the can is opened. But Julie doesn't take safety on trust. She has to be absolutely certain every can coming out the machine is safe. So they send spies into the super steam steriliser to make absolutely sure. We have these small units which are temperature loggers. So Jim will put this logger inside the can and we'll be able to then put it through the sterilisers in the factory and that way we can prove what temperature we're actually getting inside the can for normal production. So that little gadget there will take the temperature, like a little thermometer, and then store that information inside, then you can then get all that information out. Constantly, you get the time and the temperature in the same logger. The spy can is filled with beans and sauce just like all the others, but the lid is fitted with a highly sensitive temperature probe. So it goes in there and it goes over 120 degrees and then it's cooled. And then it's cooled, yeah, gradually cooled so that we don't cause any can damage. Right, after you. Okay. There we go. Inside this huge cooking shell is my can with the sensor inside it. And what that's doing is recording the temperature and time. OK, so Jim is going to read the logger for us. OK. And that will enable us to know the temperature that we got inside that can during the cooking process. If the spy can has endured 120 degrees for three minutes, then all the bacteria in all the cans has been destroyed. And as you can see, we're getting way in excess of 120 degrees. Yeah. So this proves that our beans are a safe pack. That guarantees you, bomb, no nasties. And now we can all sleep soundly at night, knowing every can in the cupboard is safe. <laughs>